Ted. That's more like the, uh, the real Ted Hankey that we all know and love. Well, yeah, I played my natural game tonight. Uh, a lot of us saying there were good interviews that uh, I was talking to Chris Mason and Kevin Painter last night. And, uh, they were saying just stop trying to manipulate the game and just play darts. Just do what you do naturally, which is what I did tonight. And, you know, that's it. A lot of people don't know that's the first time I've beat Steve Beaton in 25 years. I've never beaten a guy. I just went up there and I just played darts. And I'm really grateful for the support I got from fellow players last night to say just go up there and do what you do to get through that game tonight. To Steve's got quite a quick, quick rhythm as well that probably helps you. Well, yeah, it, he, he has. But, I mean, I always felt that I was always in charge from the first start, to be honest, you know, and... I'm, I'm so happy, Dave, honestly, because I, I think I've actually now found the rhythm I need to find to push me on for the next 12 months, not just this week, for the next 12 months, because I've been trying to do things to try and upset players, slow them down, manipulate them, but now I'm just going to play natural darts, and I think my natural game will get me through and to be where I need to be in the top six in the world. To be honest. A 5-1 win, the leg difference, uh, sorry, 5-2, the leg difference really helps you out, doesn't it? Hopefully. But the, the, the thing is for me now, I, my, my, my big expectation is I hope Robert Thornton beats Michael Van Gaming tonight and then I play Michael on Tuesday when it takes up. That's, that's, a, that's a perfect scenario for me, but if Michael beats Robert, I don't know how it goes, where it goes. But for me, I'm going to go and do a bit of praying now I know Robert beats Michael. Sorry, Michael. Yeah. Are you looking forward to playing Michael? Because you had a, a great game here last year. It's, it's, a, it's a strange thing, I've got a lot of respect and a lot of time for Michael, and Michael on the floor just totally obliterates me, but I don't think he's ever been on the stage. Hopefully, if it comes down to it Tuesday, it'll still go that way and that will go forward, but I think the result for me, you know, I've got to hope that Robert beats Michael tonight. It's going to be a great game, whichever way. But if Michael beats Robert, I don't know how it works, I've got to look at scenarios and all that, so we'll go from there. But I'm happy to be playing well, you know, I'll play well tonight. Last night I played well, but I didn't finish, but I was... Again, trying to slow the game down. Natural rhythm tonight. I prove what I can do. Neil had a nine down there at the end as well. Do you know why? It, it's funny that because I just never even named because my natural rhythm 180. Then the next three were 180, and I went, oh, I'm on for a nine. And as soon as I thought that, it was about four foot six away from it. So, <laughs> well, I set it up and I got it out, and you know, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy to do the way I play. What will you do between now and Tuesday? You have a day off. Is it something that you go and work on your game or, or literally you just relax? No, not at all. I'll just do what I normally do. I'll get up tomorrow. I'll still look after baby Adam and Sarah, find a little bit of time for practice, do what I've got, fetch the kids from school, whatever. You know, just a natural thing, what I do. And then come, come Tuesday night, that's when I get sorted, maybe three, four o'clock by me. That's when I get the head right and just, again, hopefully play my natural game and it'll be enough to get me through. Thanks, Ted. Cheers, mate.